So, let us start applying the samples. You saw me apply the first one here. Similarly, what I did was I applied the second standard here, third one here, fourth one here and I have also applied my unknown solution. Because these solutions are colorless, we cannot see the spots. Now, just remember to know where you have applied which standard. For example, I applied acetaminophen to the spot labeled 1, caffeine where I have labeled 2, salicylamide where it is marked 3, acetyl salicylic acid where it is labeled 4 and here where I have marked it as 5, I applied my unknown solution. Once we have finished spotting the standards as well as the unknown solution, we will have to develop the plate. Remember, we need to take the developer in the developing chamber. Remember also the amount of developing solvent that you want to take. Enough developing solvent to cover that convex surface that we talked about. And then let us insert the piece of filter paper. going to turn the jar around. So, when I put the TLC plate, I will be able to watch what is happening. Now, I am going to insert my TLC plate carefully. In the developing chamber, cover the developing chamber. Watch the solvent move along the plate and remember we want to remove the plate when the solvent front is about a centimeter away from the top edge of the plate. With the colored unknown as well as the colored standards, you saw the yellow spots on the plate. However, because the analgesic standards and the analgesic unknown solution is colorless, we do not see the spots here on the plate. In case of samples such as these which are colorless, we use the help of either UV light or the iodine chamber to visualize those spots. These are called visualizers. Once this plate is developed, I am going to take you to a place where I have kept the UV light ready to see the spots that would appear under the UV light. Because these spots are colorless, we do not see them with a naked eye. Whereas, when you hold this plate which has a fluorescent material coated on the plate along with silica gel, you will be able to see the spots because these spots are obstructing the UV light being absorbed by the fluorescent material where the spots are present. You notice that the solvent front has moved nicely to about a centimeter away from the top edge. So, I am going to take the plate out. and make a mark to where the solvent had moved. Just dry it a little bit by shaking it. And we will cover this developing jar. 
and now I am ready to take this to the UV light.